big thing. Phil Jackson won 11 titles as a coach. That's more than any other in NBA history. Well, he had the best players. It's often an observation which is made. Sure. You want to give me the rundown of Hall of Famers Red Auerbach was working with for his nine in Boston? In fact, find me any NBA coach who's got multiple titles working with marginal to decent NBA talent. Well, you can't because it doesn't happen. The last dance takes us all back to that place in time where Jerry Krause decided that it was time to move on from the man who was presiding over the run of six titles in eight years. With the benefit of hindsight and the history that has occurred in the interim, maybe it would have been wise to sort out the egos involved in just keep on dancing. Maybe that would have proven to be impossible. The documentary takes us all inside the maelstrom, which provides an appreciation for the difficulty of making it all work, which gives real insight into the genius of Jackson. Steve Kerr just dealt with it in Golden State. The weight of expectation, the burden of managing the personalities which can become outsized as they feast on the attention that success brings. It's a lot. And I'm not sure that any of today's stars are as complex as Dennis Rodman. And this is where the genius of Phil is best observed. He famously gave books to his players, different books, four different players, all with some message he felt was applicable to the individual, a way to find common ground. Or he'd find other ways to bond, as Jackson explained in Sunday's episode, how he connected with Rodman over a shared appreciation of Native American culture. Or, or you could just let the guy go AWOL to Vegas in the middle of the season, dispatch the greatest player in NBA history to rescue him from the bed of Carmen Electra, though I don't know that the word rescue really applies to that one, to bring Rodman back to his reality and keep the Bulls train on time. Certainly Phil knows the book Animal Farm and its tenant, all are equal, but some are more equal than others. For what he provided to the team, Rodman had no equal. Understanding what he had to give each player in order to get what they had was as important for Phil as the triangle offense. And as you keep watching the last dance, keep these things in mind. After that last dance season, Jordan never played another second for the Chicago Bulls. Rodman played only 35 more games in the NBA. The Bulls, who had just won six titles in eight years, have won a total of five playoff series since. Five playoff series since 98, which is the same number of rings Jackson won after he left Chicago. The music stopped for the Bulls. Phil kept right on dancing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.